I think who the two best rappers are in the whole entire rap game, whether it's like independent wise or just like major label wise. I think the best rappers though, you know, of course you got your Lil Dirk, you got Drake, um, you know, you got the Lil Wayne in there, Dub Baby, Lil Baby, you know, you got J. Cole, NBA Young Boy. Um, you know, Jay-Z's not the best. But Jay-Z's great though. You know, Kanye's up there. But I think the two guys that can give them a run for their money. Like, seriously. Two rappers out of California. And they actually work together too. They they, they did a song called Dream Team. And that's uh Lavish D and Drake Yo the Ruler. That, that both of them dudes are like top notch man like like they they make incredible music man they got hooks they got lyrics they got beats they just know how to make songs and that's like so rare like I mean like from a consistent standpoint because you know like like, like mo mostly everybody they can make like a song sometimes you know um but like those dudes put out hits about five seven five to seven hits like a month seem like they both got anthems they both got similar stories like both went to jail for reasons why they you know they actually both shouldn't have probably went to jail but they they end up doing some some years different amount of years but just song making ability wise doing hooks they got the voices, they got the, the delivery, they pick the right beats. They got street anthems, they got swag anthems, they got, you know, boasting about what they got, money-wise and all that. And, you know, I mean, so rappers do, but hey, but they do it in their own way. You know, and, and they both kind of, like, tied to the, um, you know, they both got gang ties or whatever. Drake yells from South Central, you know, grew up a crip. Lavish D from uh, South Sacramento. You know, uh, he got fused with Mozzie. But I think Lavish D, hey, Lavish D just, he, he's independent. He's like a, like from a work, work ethic standpoint, just doing your own way, doing your own style, um, doing it independent wise. He's like a, um, he's kind of like a, he like a more gangster uh, Tech Nine, like, like you know, Tech Nine got all the rapidy, rapidy, rapidy stuff. Um, it, it, you know, he's good, but Lavish D, he just got his own little lane, man. Like he say, got this shit out the motherfucking mud. You know, that's what he say. It's a trip though. Lavish D, and he got his uh star. That's his click. Banked up entertainment. And, and they got a, a song called Dream Team. I, see, at first, I, like, I don't really think... All right, the first time I heard Drake, yo, was when he, uh... Like, it was on a song with Lavish D, actually. It was, it was on a verse. You know, he had a... It was on a song, um, Dream Team. And I was like, I don't really like his, his, his verse, you know, like... But then, like, then I saw I started looking up all his, like, songs. Like, damn, Drake, yo, got hits. Like, he got bangers. Like bangers though, like on, on the real, it's a trip. Like street anthems galore. Like I'm like, damn, he's like, he's like, you know, lavish D. You know, it's a trip because this is the first time I really heard of Drake, yo. Listened to him for a couple weeks, and I'm already like, geez, Louise, like, like, damn, I under, I underestimated him a little bit, man. Like, I I know he was getting it cracking like that. <laughs> like, too many anthems. You know, he's starting to get a little notice. And, um, you know, it's a trip, though, because, like, I, I didn't think he was all that good. Now I think he's top two best in the whole rap game. And that includes all the major rappers. Um, he can go, he can go out of anybody. Like him and Lavish, they, they, they gonna take, they taking over the independent game. Oh, they're, they're giants, like, 
but like too short E40 wise, like they gonna be like that. And, and you know what I'm saying, like, and, and, and they both already like, and they, they both already on, on on that way, man. They both got got they both got tremendous work ethic. They got that Jerry Rice, Kobe Bryant work ethic. But from a music standpoint, though, then they and then, and then they just like. Like every time I, I see them putting out something new, I'll be like, okay, heck yeah. Or, I, or I'm just hearing a new song, I see their videos. Like, and these two good dudes, they, they need to do an album together, man. Lavish D and Drakeo. One from Northern Cali, one from Southern Cali. You know? But yeah, hey. They, they taking over the, the in, independently, man. They ain't got no labels pushing them and all that. They do it by themselves. Them and their team. And, and I, I don't know who's better. Like, if somebody were to say Lavish is better, I would say, okay. Yeah. They would say Drakeo's uh, better, just as good, whatnot. I would be like, yeah. There's really no wrong answer. There, there ain't no wrong answer. You know, they can go at it with Lil Baby and the Baby and, and all them. Like, they just got the machine behind them, it, you know. They they, they got that, that that machine, man. Like that that major label. But man, I just need to go see Lavish D perform, and I and I'm about to go see uh Drake perform this coming Wednesday. So I'm fired up for that. But yeah, um. So yeah, those guys can go toe to toe with any Drake. Um. Drake actually met Drake Yo actually. So, so you know Drake Drake knows what, what Drake Yo is. He got his own little style, got that whispering style. But but you can you know still hear him and stuff. And he be flowing, he be spitting. Them dudes them dudes got it though. So everybody needs to be put on notice with that. I just heard of Lavish D earlier in the year. Like in February. I was just looking for music. You know, um, then it said like Mozzie diss. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, look, look, I, I gotta hear this. I'm like, like, Lavish D, who's that? Then I'll click, like, damn, that song is up there with, uh, like that song, Where's Waldo Part 2, diss to Mozzie. That's up there with the, uh, hit em ups. 50 Cent's back down to, you know, that song back down, diss to Ja Rule. Um, Easy E's real mother, real mother, uh, fucking G's. This and Dr. Dre and Death Row and all that. Uh, it's up there with that, like with them. Nas Ether, of course. How, how can I forget Nas Ether? Almost, almost forgot that. Yeah, when when he dissed Jay Z. It's cockafilla records wanted beef. I rock hoes, y'all rock fellas, and I are trying to take my spot, fellas. <laughs> yeah, that was Nas. But yeah, man. Um, but yeah, Lavish D, Drake, yo, they need to be on big markets. They, no, they, they need to be because the, actually the Bay Area is the uh, third biggest music market in the world, from what I heard. But but those guys need to be doing it major. But they probably want to stay independent though. Um, but yeah, they got their own. They can be as creative as they want. They can put out whatever kind of music they want. They both go hard. They both got versatility. So y'all need to be put on notice. Them two guys. Them dudes know. Them, them dudes is just. They can be Steph and Clay if they want to. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson of music. They can team up. They, they, they better do albums. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you, man. They, they need to do some albums. They did the one song and I did like it. They need to do some albums. They'll tear up the game. I think my favorite song by Drakeo is probably uh, Flu Flamma Op. That's my song. That, that go hard. I like a lot of his songs, but Flu Flamma Op is my favorite song. I play that multiple times a day. Lavish D with my favorite song by him. Mm. I don't know. He got like an all time high. He got Itching. A song called Itching. Um, real long time. He got uh, speak my mind. What else? Yeah, he, he has so many. 
Yeah, a lot of anthems, but hey, y'all, hit the like and subscribe button. Show me some love, y'all. Like and subscribe to the channel.